Hello, hello! This time from our kitchen. So last week we've made these flower children together and I've mentioned that you can dye a normal t-shirt to get this kind of nice skin tones. And I thought maybe this week you'd like to learn that. <laughs> so let's see how we can turn this old shirt that is no longer useful <laughs> into something more useful like this. This is literally a piece of that shirt. <laughs> and you can get many different shades for many different shades of skin. Unfortunately, I haven't found one for really nice dark brown, but I'll keep searching and I'll find it one day. <laughs> In the meantime, let's try and dye with natural materials like coffee and tea. So I hope this video will help you and encourage you to tie dye your own fabric and old t-shirts and make something useful out of it or have fun. <laughs> That's a very good way to use an old t-shirt. And if you like what you see, if you find it useful, give me thumbs up and of course subscribe for more arty nature fun. That's what we do here. <laughs> now let's see how we do it. Why dyeing with natural materials at home if we can buy all kinds of colors of fabric? Well, there are a couple of reasons for that. If the toys will be for kids or if you're making something with the kids or for the kids, sometimes you want to use just natural materials because kids tend to put everything in their mouth, little kids of course. That's one reason. The, the other reason is it's fun, it's so much fun. And also sometimes you don't want to go to the store, maybe it's not so close, maybe it's not convenient or maybe you just don't want to spend money when you can just DIY something. And also it's much cheaper and also more naturally friendly if you use something that would otherwise go to the trash and now we can use it. <laughs> so just grab some old white t-shirts, we all have tons of white t-shirts <laughs> and dye it with tea and coffee. Here's what I've used. Espresso coffee, Turkish coffee, instant coffee, loose tea and tea bag. Both were black, Russian or Indian tea. First I'm making the espresso because it needs some time to cook. Then I'm preparing the Turkish coffee to the best of my abilities. I have no practice, I never cook this coffee otherwise. Now here comes the tea, this is more my jam. I put the loose tea in a tea strainer so I won't get them all over my teapot. And last but not least I used three tea bags for the last one. Now I'm setting up my ramkins and I've cut a piece of an old baby t-shirt into five equal stripes so we can compare. I put each stripe into one ramkin and pour coffee or tea over the fabric. I stir it a little bit and let it sit. Here I've taken the loose tea leaves from the strainer and I put that and the rest of the tea and another piece of an old t-shirt into a big cup so you'll be able to see the difference between dyeing in strained tea and when the leaves are swimming around. And here are the results! So let's see how these come out. This one is from the espresso coffee, this one is from Turkish coffee and you can already see how much lighter this one is. This one is from instant coffee, this one is from black tea, loose black tea and it has a bit of a reddish undertone and this one is from black tea in tea bags. I'll dry this and we'll look at them when they're already dried as well. But in the meantime, just wanted to show you that if you leave the coffee granules on, you can get some texture. But of course, I need to wash this first. The same thing with tea. In the loose tea, then some parts can get a bit more colored than the others. This is what I was talking about. As you can see, there are different colored areas. Some are quite darker and some are lighter because the tea was loose and some left some spots. And for some projects you would like that and for others you wouldn't. So plan accordingly. And here are my end results. <laughs> By far the best, the darkest color came from espresso coffee. 
I don't know, is it just because I know how to make this coffee the best? <laughs> And I was really surprised that the Turkish coffee was quite weak compared to the espresso coffee. Maybe I should put more coffee in it or maybe it's just because it's a cheap brand of because we don't use this coffee and I just use it for dyeing. <laughs> so it could be that. And this one was another surprise. It dyed quite well and this one is from instant coffee. But it's also a good brand of coffee. And this one was loose tea. Tea in the bag that I bought and I specifically asked the girl who sold it which tea is the strongest regarding the color. <laughs> that I don't care about the flavor. <laughs> and this one is from tea in tea bags. As you can see there's not much difference between the two. They're both black tea or Russian tea or Indian tea, however you call it. But these two are not that different. I thought that the loose tea would be a bit darker, but it's not. And maybe this one is a bit more reddish and a bit deeper color, but it's not that noticeable. So grab whatever tea you have anything works or whatever coffee you have anything works you will just get different shades but if you want a specific skin color maybe this tutorial can help <laughs> as you can see you don't really need to strain the gra coffee granules or the loose tea leaves you can tie dye everything together inside just you will get some spots that are a bit darker and spots that are a bit lighter. But sometimes we want that. It adds interest. If you will use this cloth in your nature corner or something like that, this could add interest. But on the other hand, if you're making a small figurine, you might not want to have a big splotch in the middle of her face, for example. So it all depends what you like. There's no rule <laughs> in art and nature. They're just things that are good for one circumstances and not the other and vice versa. So I hope this tutorial helped you a little bit and clarified and maybe made you want to try something. And just a heads up, this can be used to dye any porous materials. That means also paper, card for cards or even Easter eggs. You know, they turn out really nicely in if they're dyed in this. <laughs> so I hope you found something useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up and see you next week with some bullet journal fun. Easter bullet journal fun. Bye-bye! <laughs>